Well, Portland's women's soccer team is now officially under new ownership. The Thorns announced today the California-based Raj Sports will be taking over from former owner Merritt Paulson. Raj Sports, led by siblings Lisa Bethal Mirage and Alex Bethal, are new to the Portland sports scene. They are, however, no strangers to running big-time West Coast sports franchises. Our Anna Katayama joins us now from the Fox 12 Now desk to give us some insight on who's operating the Thorns franchise. Anna? Well, Pete and Riel, the Thorns, I think, have reason to be excited tonight. Right off the bat, this new ownership group is promising to build them a brand new, first class, women's soccer specific training facility, and I, I think it's going to be pretty nice. To give you a little bit of background on this ownership group, Lisa Bothel Mirage and Alex Bothel were part of the group that purchased the NBA's Sacramento Kings for $534 million back in 2013. They continue to hold an ownership stake in that franchise. Three years after buying the team, they built the stadium that houses the Kings, the Golden One Center, located in downtown Sacramento. The family also helped to enhance the revitalization of the downtown area by developing an entertainment district in Sacramento. Raj Sports also owns the Stockton Kings, a G League basketball team, and AAA baseball team, the Sacramento River Cats. The Bothell family got its start with a women's swimwear, swimwear business which it operated for 50 years. It now operates a number of businesses and is involved in large-scale real estate development. As for its ownership of the Thorns, Lisa Bothell Mirage will serve as the controlling owner of the Thorns and will represent the team on the Board of Governors for the National Women's Soccer League. Her brother will serve as the alternate governor. The family says it's going to focus on supporting growth for the Thorns, growth for the city of Portland, and growth for women's sports in general. They have a lot of experience in the sports industry, as we have mentioned, and also in large-scale real estate development, and they plan to bring those skills here to the Rose City. As for now, though, the Thorns will continue to play at Providence Park. They have a lease there through 2035. Back to you. All right, some big news, Anna, right. thank you. Uh, the sale comes after former owner Merritt Paulson announced his intentions to sell the team late last year. Yeah, Fox host Carly Olson outside Providence Park now with the latest fan reactions to this news. Carly. Yeah, Pete and Riel, this news comes more than a year after a report revealed abuse and misconduct within the National Women's Soccer League, including the Portland Thorns. And fans we spoke to today said that they are cautiously optimistic that the new leadership can give the team a better public image. I think that there's a lot of relief, right? News about Raj Sports taking ownership of the Portland Thorns spread quickly on Wednesday, and longtime fans said it was a positive. A little difficult being a fan of the ownership structure um, and the management structure as they probably didn't navigate, uh, well, they didn't navigate the challenges that they had in front of them well at all. And so having that change in ownership, I think, will ultimately be a good thing. Uh, I hope they would, uh, would boost them up and give them their confidence and uh, keep winning the game. We're really optimistic. We're really optimistic in a way that maybe the last few, last while hasn't felt. Sam Prince is a part of the Rose City Riveters, a Thorns fan club around 3,000 members strong. We're going to approach it with optimism and also continue to do the things that we've done in the past surrounding accountability and surrounding making sure that um, making sure the club is doing what they say they're going to do. Um, and again, hopefully, you know, greater investment in the team that's done so well at winning championships and, and bringing a lot of trophies back to Portland. Previous owner Merritt Paulson has owned the Thorns since the National Women's Soccer League was created more than 10 years ago. Since then, the club has won three NWSL titles, but two team executives were let go last fall following reports on systemic abuse throughout the league. Fans we spoke with said they hope the team can move forward from here to become a safe space for all. You can have a team all day. You ain't got a good coach, good manager. You ain't got nobody, you know. There's work to be done, and there's work to be done with the fan base and with Portland and with a lot of folks who have necessarily felt comfortable coming to the park and we want them to be. We want, you know, we want, um, we want the North End to be loud. We want it to be welcoming. We want folks to be back in Providence Park and back, back home because this place is really magical when we are together. Prince also told us that he spoke with fans who are looking forward to season tickets for the first time in a while following the announcement. Live in Northwest Portland, I'm Carly Olson, Fox 12 Oregon.